name is Nick. I'm on Team Ryan, and I'm going to walk you through uh, pneumatics. Um, so when I when I first encountered pneumatics, I was just confused by them. I avoided them for a couple of years in FRC. Then our team finally decided to do pneumatics, and I had to learn them. And it turns out they are much simpler than they seem to be. So the first main part of your pneumatic system is your compressor. It charges your air tanks, which are down here. The air tanks are allowed to be kept in a maximum of 120 PSI. If you regulate that with these valves and these gauges you look at. From the tanks, the air flows into this gauge where you can read um, the air pressure of the tanks. From that, it flows into the sensor, which regulates the compressor. If the air in the tanks is under 120 PSI, it turns the compressor on. If it is at 120 PSI, it turns the compressor off. Code to control this is um, there's, there's default code, we have it in our code. If you take a look at our code, you can check that out. From the sensor, it flows into the regulators. You are allowed to use a maximum of 120 PSI in your tanks and a maximum of 60 PSI in your actuators and your cylinders. This valve regulates the output pressure to your solenoids. Solenoids, they direct air into different ports on your cylinders. You plug them into your solenoid breakout board on your cereal. From your solenoids, the air flows into your cylinder. The cylinders shoot out or they pull in depending on what kind of cylinder you buy. You can get some that are spring-loaded in and air pressure pushes them out, or you can get some that air pressure pushes them in or out. 